that's going to come about with automation and AI that a lot of these jobs, manufacturing jobs, uh, Teamsters, all that stuff is going to be eliminated. What, what do you, I mean, you're at the forefront of this. So how do you see this playing out? And what do you think that can be done to mitigate uh, a lot of the l loss of purpose that a lot of people are going to feel, loss of income, obviously universal basic income is being floated about, mm -hmm. but that seems to me to only be part of the problem. The, another big part of the problem is people losing a sense of purpose. Yeah, now no, no, we're talking about something which is still pretty far in the future. You know, like um, How far do you think it is? Well, I mean, it's... It's probably, I don't know, 15, 20 years type of a thing. Um, so we've got, like, immediate issues. We've got short-term issues that are, I don't know, one to three years. Medium-term issues, like, five to ten years. Longer-term issues, which are, like, maybe 20 years. Um, Longer-term, I think there is this question, if, if you have AI and robotics, how do you find meaning in life? If the computer can do everything better than you can, and the robot can do everything better than you can. But we're, we're still... We've got a long way to go before that, and we're, you know, um, and I do think it's like eighty percent likely to be a good outcome, like maybe ninety. Um, so, I, I think everyone's going to have their own like personal robot, like, and I, and I think at a certain point, like, wouldn't you want to have your own personal C three PO R two D two? 